Hello, YouTubes, and welcome to Just Gaming For Us. This is The Doctor. Uh, I just want to make a quick update. As you know previously, I have started a good run of new Star Trek Online videos. I have started running um, the Romulan Reputation missions, which are very good, and I have to continue that. Uh, I am also still leveling up our Romulan character, and that's exciting. Uh, there has been a pause of videos uh, that probably a lot of you have noticed. Uh, it's been a few days since I've posted a new video. Reason being, number one, work. Remember, work before play. Yes, I had to get my work done first. Number two, it is because I am in Columbus, Ohio. So hello from Columbus, Ohio. And why am I in Ohio? Well, I am here for WizardCon. Uh, well, actually, WizardCon puts it on, but it is actually called Comic-Con. Uh, do not confuse it with Comic-Con of San Diego. Very different. But this is WizardCon's Comic-Con, or Ohio Comic-Con, as it's called. And just like Dragon Con, it is a convention for fans. Anything from science fiction, to anime, to comics, to horror, to anything your heart desires, it is here. And just like Dragon Con, cosplay, a big part of it as well. Many people dressed up. I have a lot of photos, and uh, I'm going to find a format to upload those photos in, whether that be Flickr or some alternate means uh, to show the photo stream of photos that I have taken. This time I have taken more photos of people dressed up. And uh, no video, but I'm just taking pictures this time. This is a smaller con than Dragon Con, whereas Dragon Con this year had 60,000 people. Uh, this con has tens of thousands, so it's a lot less. But still very fun. You have your huge Vendor area inside. Uh, tons of stuff to buy. And because there's less people, it's easier to navigate. Dragon Con's Vendor area was incredibly full of people and very hard to navigate. This one, you can get around and actually see things and buy things. Um, big Doctor Who shop that was there, actually several. I find that a lot of vendors tend to have at least one rack of Doctor Who stuff. Very popular. Uh, Star Trek stuff, of course. Uh, but then all kinds of other stuff. The Walking Dead is, is very popular right now. Game of Thrones stuff is there. Um, there's a lot there. I ended up buying something that I absolutely have to show you. Um, and I haven't spent a lot of money so far. This only cost me 10 bucks. But it was, and I think I got the last one because they didn't have any more. Um, or maybe there were more, but I just didn't see them. But this is awesome. This is a mashup of my two favorite genres together Doctor Who and Star Trek. Get ready for this. This is Star Trek and Doctor Who fighting off Klingons and Romulans uh, and the Cybermen are there and the Daleks are there and well you just have to see this for yourself I'm gonna to try to line this up correctly in the webcam and hopefully you can get a good shot of this uh, I'll try to hold it as steady as I can the glare there may be some glare on here but I will do my best because this just freaking works let's try to Put it in there. Let's see. Come on. Line up. Line up. And line up. Okay, let's turn it this way. I'm getting there. I'm peeking through. Okay, there we go. We'll tilt it this way. There's a good picture of it. So what you have here is there's the TARDIS. There's the um, 11th Doctor. I believe Amy's there as well. Then you have Captain Kirk right beside him. And uh, Spock. The Enterprise up top. Firing on Romulans and Klingons. You have Daleks there. You got the Cyberman way in the corner over there. 
You got Klingons with Batleths, and you got Romulans down there. It is a mashup of Star Trek, the original series, I, I, I need to make that clear, original series Star Trek, and Doctor Who. You've got the Enterprise on the top, you've got the TARDIS down there below it. Enterprise, uh, it's the original Star Trek versus Doctor Who, and they're fighting Klingons and Ryman. This is just pure awesomeness. So, that little gem right there was only 10 bucks. I saw it, and I know I knew I had to get it. That will be going on my wall. Very awesome. So uh, good stuff like that in the vendor area. Of course, there's also panels being held at this event, just like Dragon Con. Uh, William Shatner is at this event. Uh, that is one big reason I went because um, I missed his panel at Dragon Con, and uh, he is at this con so I will go to his panel on uh, Saturday and um, I will definitely enjoy that because I've always wanted to go to a William Shatner panel today he was in the autograph room signing autographs taking photos and as expected his line was the longest um, now these photo ops and these autographs you get with these celebrities cost money so I'm bypassing that right now maybe in the future someday but the this event costs me enough with hotel costs and travel and all that stuff so uh, I'm just bypassing that stuff for now um, but in the future maybe so and who else let's see Summer Glau from Firefly she played uh, can't believe I just forgot the name of the um, her character's name on Firefly I, I am really doing bad <laughs> Then you have uh, Ron Glass who played Shepard on Firefly. He's also here. Uh, what other things? Sean Flannery is here. One of the Hobbits. Um, well, who else? Um, Grant Wilson from Ghost Hunters is here. He's going to have a panel on Sunday. I, I'm, I'm very interested in that. Um, Uh, let's see, we've got um, Lou Ferrigno. He's like at every con for some reason. The Hulk, he's he's at every con I go to. Uh, he goes to all of them, apparently. Linda Blair, she played the original uh, girl who was on the, Exor the Exorcist movie. Um, very old movie, but very good. Oh, there's so many other celebrities that I can't even remember them all. Oh, um... The kid who the, the the kid who plays the kid on The Walking Dead, uh, the guy who plays Herschel on The Walking Dead, he's here. Um, Lori Holton was supposed to be here, but she canceled. Uh, they're not really doing an official. Well, they're they're having a panel, but they're not having the the cast from The Walking Dead in that panel. So it's kind of like a fan panel. But there's so many panels going on at the same time that you have to be really choosy. Unlike Dragon Con where they can repeat because they have more days. All the panels are on one day here at Ohio Comic Con. So basically they're overlapping each other. Like there's a ton of them that just start like at 11 o'clock, a ton that start at 1 o'clock. They all overlap each other. So you have to be really choosy uh, and decide which one you want to go to. Um, but there are a lot of good panels uh, with those celebrities. Also, there is a gaming panel that I'm very interested in going to. And uh, it, they're going to talk about new gaming IPs, um, gaming technology, and other gaming things. I do want to go to that unless it conflicts with another panel I want to go to as well. Uh, there's a Firefly panel I uh, definitely want to go see. Um, mm -mm -mm. I can't even remember all of them. There's there's a lot. Basically, what's going to happen is <laughs> I'm going to start at 11 a.m. on Saturday, and I will be continually going to panels until probably about 8 p.m. <laughs> and I mean like 15 minutes between panels. So um, it will be an all-day panel event for me, whereas on Friday I spent the whole day in the vendor area, so I got that out of the way. So Saturday is all the panels, and then Sunday I head back home. So there's that thing called work I gotta do, and it's important.
So um, that is why there has been a lack of Star Trek videos the rest of this week and this weekend. When I get back, there will be more Star Trek Online videos. I will do. Uh, I will. I will finish first the uh, Romulan Reputation mission videos. Need to get those done. They are very fun. I did one. I got four left. And uh, then we'll keep uh, leveling up our Romulan character, of course. It's time to get a new ship on our Romulan, so that will be fun. That uh, I've always loved those videos where we get to uh, get a new ship and equip it and figure it all out. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Expect all of that this coming week. This is this is week week. Look what I can do on this webcam. This is awesome. I can go BAM! Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Why doesn't it work? You, your cam does not support the use of video effects under the current... You select a lower capture resolution. <laughs> okay, you can only do them in low resolution. That brought up a different window. Okay, that's really... Okay, that is really lagging things for me. Okay, there we go. Well, okay, never mind. I can't do these in the resolution I'm running at. We'll poo poo on you. Um, well, that's all I have for now. So um, I hope everybody uh, enjoys uh, the videos and uh, everything I have to bring you. Um, if I can get a link up somewhere of all these pictures after the uh, con, I'll. Um, post a link somewhere somehow and let you guys know so you can go view those pictures like I said I got more pictures of people dressed up in cosplay this year or at this con uh, however the ratio of people dressed up to not dressed up is a lot wider here at Dragon Con you feel out of place if you are not dressed up here uh, there's a lot more people not dressed up than there are dressed up also, the quality of costumes is a lot different here at this at this event. The quality of the costumes, um, there are some that are fantastic. Of course, let's let's not let's make that clear. There are some that are on professional levels here, uh, but then a lot are kind of really that Halloween. Go to the Halloween store and buy a cape and a mask type stuff. Dragon Con definitely had a higher quality of costumes um, and also a bigger ratio of people wearing costumes and uh, definitely a lot more people at that one as well. Dragon Con really and and this was at, even asked in a panel today uh, well, I went to a cosplay panel tonight and people asked what was your favorite con and unanimously everybody said Dragon Con. So that's the, that that and and even in some other people have said who have been to, for example, Comic Con in San Diego, the really big one, that Comic Con in San Diego is very corporate now. You have a lot of corporations promoting things. You have, you have a lot of corporate, you know, bleh. but Dragon Con is more fan based. It's more for the fans. And it's also an ongoing 24 7 party that never stops. Whereas this con, it, it has a start and an end time every day, and then people leave and go off do their own thing. So this con is smaller and different, but it's still fun. You still get all the celebrities, you still get all the vendor stuff, you still get people in costumes, and you still get all the wonderful panels and uh, listening to celebrities and everything else, getting to ask them questions. So this is a, a fun con, and they have these cons in different places. This one is uh, right now in Ohio. Next month in October, uh, Wizard Con Comic Con is going to Nashville, Tennessee, and I may go to that one as well. Nashville is actually closer to me than Columbus, Ohio is. This was one of the farthest I've ever driven for one of these events, uh, seven hours to drive here, whereas Nashville is uh, about a five-hour drive for me, about the same distance to Atlanta. So um, I can go to the Nashville one in October, and I may just do that. I love these cons now. I am now a con-going fan, and I think I want more of this. And uh, also cosplay. I think I'm going to start getting into cosplay. <laughs> but seriously, it's really not that scary, because you're in a place where everyone else is doing it, and everyone stops and wants to take your picture. So you're a celebrity when you dress up. 
anyway uh, now I'm just rambling on and on and on about nothing that probably anybody cares about so thank you for watching video there will be more stuff coming stay tuned this week I will get back on the action on Monday probably okay so thank you for watching and stay tuned for more